Generate copyright free music with AI on your computer in only a few seconds using Music Gen. That's that's pretty cool. Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI Overlord, and today I'm going to show you Music Gen, a free open source AI tool that allows you to create new music from a single line of text. Or even better, convert an already existing melody in a completely different style. And all of that locally on your own computer. Wow, that's pretty insane. So that being said, sit back, relax, get your headphones ready, and let's go. So, Music Gen, an open source language model that can generate high quality music from either a line of text or a bass melody, created by Facebook. Yeah, that's right. A team working for Facebook are actually behind that Music Gen model. And since they released everything to the public, we can now use it for free on our own computer. And I'm gonna show you how. Now, before we begin the installation, what exactly do we need? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this for Windows. So if you have Linux or Mac, I'm not quite sure this installation will work for you. And the second piece of hardware that you need is a powerful GPU. Now, on the GitHub page, they say that you need a GPU with at least 16 gigabytes of memory. But in reality, in practice, you don't actually need this much VRAM. You can actually use this locally with around 4 to 5 gigabytes of VRAM. However, don't worry, even if you don't have this much VRAM, I'm going to show you later how you can use it for absolutely free without any GPU. So basically, no worries, even if you don't have a powerful computer, even if you don't have a powerful GPU, you will not miss on anything. And that's pretty cool. Now, before we begin the installation, you need a few things. The first is Git. So if you haven't installed it already, it's very easy. Just click on this button to download for Windows and then follow the installation process to install it on your own computer. Next, you need Python. So again, if you haven't already, you're gonna come here, scroll down, then click on the Windows installer and then next, follow the installation process. Just do not forget to check the box Add Python to Path because otherwise it's not gonna work. And then what you need to do is install PyTorch 2.0.1. I personally had a lot of error and issues with that Torch version, but I managed to make it work by using this command to uninstall everything and then reinstalling the PyTorch 2.0.1 with CUDA using the following command. And basically, if you don't know how to do this, you're gonna click here to copy this entire line of code. In your startup menu, you're gonna look for Command Prompt and then Control V to paste this command right here and then press Enter. You're gonna wait for everything to be uninstalled and then you're gonna do the same thing with the second line of code. Now obviously I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it before but if you don't have PyTorch 2.0.1 installed you absolutely need to do this first otherwise obviously it will not work. So then finally once everything is installed on your computer you're gonna create a new folder I'm gonna call mine music and then once you're inside the folder you're gonna click here on your folder path type cmd press enter which will bring the command prompt window and then you're gonna copy and paste this command line that you will find in the description down below and then you can press enter and this will clone the repository inside your own computer creating a new audio craft folder and if we go inside you will see a bunch of files and from here same thing you're gonna click on the folder path type cmd press enter and then you're gonna copy and paste this line that you will find on the github page or in the description down below that you of course paste in the command prompt window and then press enter and this will basically download all the requirements it needs to run the tool and now well we are done yeah that's right it was that easy. And now if you want to run the web UI, all you have to do is just type python app.py. Or you can just copy and paste the command that you will find again in the description down below. This way you don't have to type anything. And then press enter. Now if you see this little triton error, this is absolutely fine. This is absolutely normal. It will absolutely have no impact on the quality of the results. And you will see here a local URL that you can access by holding control and then left click. And there you go. Now we are inside the music gen web UI that we can use immediately. So now you will see a bunch of different zones. So here, for example, is where you're gonna input your text. So let's say, for example, that I want a peaceful meditative zen track infused with jazz elements and a smooth saxophone solo. So here you can choose the different music models and you have four models to choose from, melody, medium, small, large. And of course, the larger the model, the more VRAM it's gonna use. So for example, if you only have five gigabytes of VRAM, you can, for example, use the small model and it will work perfectly fine. 
So here you can choose the duration of your music, which is basically how long the music generated will be. And as of right now, the current limitation is around 30 seconds. Now it might be possible in the future to generate more than 30 seconds of audio, but as of right now, 30 seconds is the maximum limit. But for this example, I'm only gonna choose around 10 seconds. It will be more than enough. And then here you have a bunch of parameters to control the quality of the generation. Now it's kinda complicated, but basically top K means that the higher the number, the more varied the generation will be. Then top P is very similar to top K, except that this time it is more of a percentage and probability based. The temperature you already know it is basically how random and predictable the generation is. So the higher the number, the more random it is. And classifier free guidance basically controls everything and guide it to a certain direction. Now all of that is very complex to explain, so either just leave everything by default or play around a little bit. But basically once you've inputted the text, once you've inputted the prompt, all you have to do is just click on submit and wait for your music to be generated. Now the first time that you generate the music, it will start downloading the model that you choose right here. So the first time that you do it, it might take a few minutes to download the model and generate the music. But after that, it will be way, way faster. And there we go. As you can see in around 40 seconds, we generated a brand new music from scratch. And if we listen to it, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely exactly what I asked for. A peaceful meditating zen track infused with jazz elements in a smooth saxophone solo. I mean, this is exactly what I got. What do you want me to say? Now, I'm gonna tell it to you right now. I'm not a big specialist of music. I know absolutely nothing about music. I don't even listen to a lot of music myself, which is why I kinda need your opinion in the comments down below to tell me if a music is good or not. And since next, we're gonna play around a little bit with the tool and generate a few cool music. I'm definitely gonna need your opinion, because as I said, I'm really really bad at this. Now one other thing that I haven't shown you is this little option right here that says Melody Condition. And this is where you can drop an audio file and use that melody as a base to create your music. That's where you can actually use a melody that you downloaded somewhere else or created yourself and then transform it into a completely different style. Like you have a few examples right here, so if I click on it, it's gonna take this bass music from Bach, which sounds like this. And then by using the following prompt, an 80s driving pop song with heavy drums and a synth pad in the background, using the melody model, if now I click on submit, after around 40 seconds, we get something like this. Which is just insane. So as you saw, we basically took a classical music piece as a bass and then converted it into an 80s driving pop song. And all of that in a few seconds. I mean, this is just insane. Because for me, the quality of the generation look really, really good. Now I gotta tell you, this tool is absolutely incredible for small creators on YouTube and Twitch. Because if you know how YouTube works, or if you have a YouTube channel yourself, you know that there is a big issue on YouTube when it comes to content ID and copyright claims. And and I think that most of you know that if you want to use a copyrighted music on your video on YouTube, well, uh, you can't. Because if you do, you got a copyright strike and you will lose the monetization of your video. Which is why so many YouTubers use different services and pay in advance to use a bunch of copyright free music that they can use in their videos. However, using a tool like that can allow you to generate any music that you want in any style that you want for absolutely free. So if you are a small YouTube creator, I mean this tool is a must have. This is a game changer because finding a music to fit a certain style or convey a certain emotion is really really difficult to find and can sometimes cost a lot of money. But if you can generate your own music in any style and convey any emotion that you want in a few seconds for free, well, uh, I gotta say it is pretty incredible. Because every music that you generate right here are 100% copyright free. So bye bye copyright claims and welcome monetization. However, I know that some of you will also say, well, okay, that's great, but I don't have a powerful GPU to be able to run this. How can I run this tool for free? Well, the answer is very simple. We're gonna be using a free Google Collab Doc. 
Doc. That's right, simple as that. And for this, we're gonna be using the free Google Colab Doc provided by Kamenduru, which again is kinda like a king when it comes to Google Colab Docs. I think he has a Google Colab Doc for pretty much everything that exists. It's really impressive. But if you want to use the Google Colab Doc, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and then you're gonna click on this little icon right here, which will open a very simple and very easy to use Google Colab Doc that you can run by clicking on this little cell right here, and then click on run anyway. So then you're gonna wait for everything to be installed, it might take a few minutes, so be patient. And in the end, this will give you a public URL that if you click on it, will launch the Music Genwave UI, exactly as if this was running locally on your own computer. Simple as that. And you can of course use it in the exact same way. Just input a text, select a model, and then click on submit. And in the end, this is what you get. Sounds pretty good. And if you want to download the music, do not forget to click on this little icon right here. So now let's actually have a little bit of fun. Let's generate a few AI music and see how good they really are. So for the first example, I'm gonna start with a spaghetti western theme, turn it to a chilled lo-fi hip-hop tune for study and relaxation. I'm gonna choose the large model and a 30 seconds limit. And now if I click on submit, and after around two minutes, we get something like this. I mean, yeah, I mean, not bad. I mean, again, let me know what you think in the comments, but I think that it sounds pretty good. Now, I mean, as I said, I am by no means a music specialist, like not at all, but I mean, I don't know, it kind of sounds good to me. So how about something a little bit more different? Maybe it's something like an 8-bit video game music, and maybe this time this only take like maybe 10 seconds, and then click on submit, and we get something like this. I mean, again, yeah, really not bad. This really kind of reminds me of my childhood, with all those terrible games that I used to play, that basically all had that very similar sounding music. So yeah, I mean, this sounds really, really good. Now, the last test I want to do is to actually input a melody as a bass. And for this, I basically choose the beginning of Mozart, Piano Sonata number 11, that basically sounds like this. Now I think that most of you know the music, and I think I'm gonna transform it into... And I want to transform it into a vibrant retro 80 synthwave. Do not forget to choose the melody model, 30 seconds, and click on submit. And there we go, and we go from this... To this. I mean, I don't know about you, but this sounds really, really good. I actually really wish that we could generate more than 30 seconds, because I definitely would want to hear the rest of this song. I think that this one, uh, I think I'm gonna keep it. So I mean, I gotta say, Facebook research lately had an insane influence on the open source community. First with the release of Llama, the LLM model that everybody used as a base for months, then the release segment anything, that can basically analyze an image and create different masks for every element in that image. Very, very precise. And now we have Music Gen, that is simply right now the best tool for generating music using AI. Simple as that. And I just cannot believe that you can use this tool for free right now. I mean, this is absolutely insane. This is so cool. And as I said previously, not only it is a cool tool to generate any music that you want, just for fun, but if you are a content creator on YouTube, you will never have to worry about copyright claim ever again. And that is really fantastic. I mean, what can I say? Definitely try out and have some fun.
And here we are with folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon and YouTube supporters, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.